As we see this limit, the first thing I would attempt to do is see if I could just directly evaluate it, but you see we cannot because we would be dividing by zero. So I'm going to do some algebraic manipulation and whenever I see two fractions, the first thing I'd like to try is common denominator. So I'm going to do that. The common denominator for the two is going to need an x and an x squared plus x. We could actually factor that, but we'll just leave it. All right, so this term needs a, this fraction needs an x squared plus x, and of course I put that in the bottom. And then this one needs an x. All right, so let's see what we have. The denominator is the x, x squared plus x. The numerator, I'm going to go ahead and distribute this through, is going to be 2x squared plus 2x. And then don't lose this minus right here, minus 2x. So I'm going to see what I can do to simplify now. And these guys will cancel and leave me a 2x squared. This x on the bottom will cancel. And I now have the limit as x approaches 0 of 2x over x squared plus x. Now in looking at that, I still can't directly evaluate because I'd be dividing by 0, but I can do some simplifying. I'm going to factor the denominator. There's an x in common. That'll leave me an x plus 1. And now I can reduce. These two x's cancel. And now I can directly evaluate because I won't be dividing by 0. If I put 0 in for x, I'll have 2 over 1. So the limit here is 2.